Hello, how you doing? Yes, I am lounging by the pool. You know, God forbid I I take a break. There's some giant lizards down here. They're like Cuban lizards, They're really big. Um, come over and staring at me. <laughs> um, my friends here during the last hurricane, of course I, uh, I have a home that is now my parents' home. Uh, and uh, during Hurricane Irma, we came down and uh, the neighbors said that they were without power for over two weeks. And the same was true here and uh, this is quite a luxurious apartment complex here quite luxurious I mean very nice and they were without also and well it's true that you can't run an air conditioner off of even 600 amp hours of uh, lithium for very long it's also true that you can cool yourself down drastically by uh, using a drip water or just a fan and to cool yourself down um, there are also uh, super low energy washer dryers i've seen them you could actually run those non-stop for weeks off of merely one uh, 300 amp hour battery um, i don't uh, get any remuneration uh, any uh, monetary kickback uh, from power queen i have got a free charge controller and uh, two free inverters one of which I gave away to a poor friend of mine that desperately needed a 2000 watt inverter. I have the links below on these. I myself put my own money into the system also. My friends that are here in uh, this apartment complex who uh, purchased a farm up in Kentucky, and that's what I'm here doing. They're actually uh, going to, they're gonna be snowbirds, you know, partially transition up to Kentucky but also too in the winter months to stay down here. They were extremely miserable when the hurricane hit and you know, two weeks without any power to charge communication devices and the little battery packs themselves don't last that long. The little ones that have like uh, 10 watts of solar power, they take days to recharge. I mean, they're good for a few charges, um, but they're on sale right now and I have the links below. So I do get bunny points. I'm calling them bunny points. In other words, if I get enough uh, bunny points, it will let me uh, purchase at a great discount, a, a power inverter or a, a charge controller. And they also too have uh, fold up uh, 200 watt solar panels and 100 watt super compact solar panels. And two or three of those is all you need. Um, a lot of people have asked me questions about what do they use to hook the charge controller to their battery bank. And the best thing is to go to like Lowe's or Home Depot and get the, uh, the jumper cables used for car. And if you split those perfectly down the middle and strip off the ends, you just plug in the, uh, the twisted ends. You don't even have to solder them. Twist up the ends tight and stick them up in the uh, charge controller to battery terminals because you're not dropping in an enormous amount of power from the charge controller, which is getting the power from the solar panels, but you do from the batteries to the inverter. Those you should buy pure copper cables, but you get the battery jumper cables from there. Also too, to hook your batteries up in parallel, they're called battery interconnect cables. They're about six to eight inches long, which is all you need to go from positive to positive negative to negative that's of course to hook them up in parallel which i do have um if you have a pair of 300 amp hour um uh, power queen batteries and i've put my own money into the system as well when you get without power and of course you don't have to necessarily be here in the deep south when the power goes out and this is uh, you know early march but even in february you just get blasting hot you have more than enough power to run absolutely everything other than an air conditioner full time and uh, 300 to 400 watts of solar panels um, on their one apartment complex here. They could actually hang them with the simple ropes or paracord off the side of the balcony with where the uh, sun arcs. Of course, you need to know where your sun is at. Um, but I highly recommend these. I put my own money into them and they are currently on sale. So the links below are affiliate links, but they're slightly different links in that I just get bunny points for buying the gear at discount myself. I have them up at my cabin 
Uh, my other friends uh, have a cabin that's a few miles down the road from me, and those are the people that I gave the power inverter to, and I use the bunny points that I got from you people purchasing the batteries to buy them a power inverter. And uh, they didn't have the funds to buy it. They were able to buy a couple 200 amp hour uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries. And these are not lithium ion batteries. These are lithopos as we call them, or lithium iron phosphate batteries. You don't have any worries about leaving them hooked up to your charge controller and your solar panel system and worry about coming back and, you know, oh no, the, you know, the cabin or whatever is burned down. That's not gonna be the case. I actually really, really like way better than the Renogy the charge controllers uh, that uh, Power Queen actually sells. But I'm a huge fan and I personally have six Power Queen batteries that I spent my own money on. Two of those are up at my cabin. I also too have a lead acid set up in the kitchen, but I have two of those up there and I can run absolutely everything. My buddy on his cabin, which is just down the road from me, he only has one 200 amp hour a lithium iron phosphate battery and his charge controller and his 2000 watt inverter and he runs his DVD player, his lighting system, two tiny uh, igloo mini refrigerators, um, his, uh, his ice making machine. You ever seen those little $89 ice making machines? If you actually make your own ice and of course water is everywhere and you put it in there and you create a little drip uh, container and anybody can make one of those in five minutes and you drip cold water over a fan, which is a low power consumption uh, device, you know, a simple low uh, uh, watt hour uh, fan, like, you know, those little $30 reciprocating fans that you get at Walgreens or whatnot, that will actually keep you cool to the point where you are not miserable. I have built those before, they're quite fascinating. It's, uh, you could call it like a cut rate air conditioner, but I mean, if you don't have the power output when things get bad, having, it's basically no different than a swamp cooler, of course. So you just uh, dripping cold water or even regular water onto a fan and blowing it on you. And you can stay cool and fine and recharge everything you need. So other than running, you know, a heater or a large air conditioning unit, you have everything you need. So those links are below. Thank you so much uh, for watching and I'll catch you later.